an objective analysis and assessment of an issue in order to form a judgment. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're going to be talking about today. All right, I'm Josh B. Castro. What's up, you gorgeous, you gorgeous and beautiful people? And hi, yes, we have a different setup. If you guys didn't notice, this is a mango tree, just for reference, so that you know, you know. And yeah, in this hashtag project nine minute video, we're going to be talking about critical thinking. That's right. The definition was an objective analysis and assessment of an issue in order to form a judgment. But see, the thing with critical thinking is I really highly believe that it is something that most of us develop over time, but some of us will actually master or actually get a whole no. Because, you know, uh, here's some, not really here's some. Like, so back in, you know, when I was still doing nursing, uh, you know, nursing really has, is a, there's a really large proponent of critical thinking when it comes to, you know, dealing with your patients and your and the things that you have to actually that goes through your mind and then you have to make right judgments so that you know they don't get hurt, I guess let's just say they don't get hurt. And that is probably the best thing that uh, as a nurse you could do. I'm, uh, honestly I'm not pursuing nursing right now. We'll see in the future but as for now we're doing content creating because you know I want to express myself to the world to you guys and provide value that's that's why i'm that's why i created this channel and of course you know to earn yeah anyway <laughs> so yeah critical thinking is a powerful tool and like if you know how to critical think or if you know how to think critically and make certain you know make the right judgments i'm like you know you're 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 deadly you're, you're powerful you know you're gonna you can dominate the world well not really dominate but you know your path your your vision, your passions, you can really pursue them and it will help you. I'm like, you know, let's go back to the definition, all right? So it's an objective analysis. So, so what does that mean? So basically you're looking at the world, you're looking at things objectively, all right? You see them as they are and then you, you look at it and then you're gonna, analy you're gonna analyze it and assess, okay, all right, so this is what we're working with, all right? So that that is the thing that we're gonna be doing or that's the thing that is probably in the way or a certain issue, all right? So you're gonna analyze that issue. All right, let's put that into context. So you, there's two roads, right? One road goes left, the other goes right. There's a sign in the middle that says, don't go left. All right, so what's your judgment out of that? So there's an issue right now, all right? But the thing is, the path on the right, it's a rocky road, right? It's full of bushes, weeds. It's like, think, imagine a forest. And then, you know, just there's just, it's just, it just doesn't look like a path that you want to go to. Right, but the sign says don't go left. That means you should go right, right? But on the left side, the path is paved with cement. There's lights along the road. It's clean. It's it's welcoming. All right. So, all right. So I've given you an issue right now. I've given you something to decide. All right. So think, think critically. Which path will you go? Will you go left, even though the sign says don't go left, regardless if, you know, the path going left is actually really beautiful, really nice, really welcoming, or will you go right, you know, where the sign doesn't say that don't go right, but the sign doesn't also say that go right, but, you know, basing on the options you have, it's clearly saying that you should go right, or is it? But, you know, the right side, it's... Uh, it's, it's not that something it's not, a, it's, not, it's not a path that you probably not want to take you know even regardless of the sign so yeah think think hardly think deeply so yeah that's what critical thinking is so you have an issue and based on that you have to make judgment alright so what are the things what are the objective things that you can analyze alright so there's a sign and there's a path okay you can either go left or right the sign says don't go left but you know, based on other objective signs like the status of the path and the other path, yeah, it makes you believe you want to go left, <laughs> even though the sign says don't go left. So yeah, there is a dilemma, and there's probably other factors in that situation. But based on the example that I just presented with you guys, with that I just came up with on the spot, amazingly. All right, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not even sure which path I want to go to, but based on you know probably my fight or flight uh you know if you're in a fight or flight situation 
I'd probably still go left regardless of signs. I like you know signs are put there for a reason, but it can also right lead you to a straight path. You know, people control you or things control you or maybe times change or maybe that's an old sign. You probably have to look at the status of sign. Is it a wood sign? It's a is it a modern sign? Has it just been recently put up? All right, you have to be a detective and then that's how you make these sound arguments to yourself. Because basically, when you're critically thinking in situations like those, you're just arguing to yourself. You have two versions of you, right? The you that wants to do the left path and the you that wants to do the right path. Right now, they're in court and they're talking to each other and, you know, yeah, they're, they're having it out, you know, and deciding which is the right path to go. My heart says left, but my brain says right because the sign says don't go left. Uh, have you ever thought of the option of just going back where you came from? If that's an option at all? Probably not because it wasn't in the scenario. But yeah, so that's why critical thinking is really interestingly important to have. And in, one way to develop critical thinking, as what Jordan Peterson said, is write. That's right, just write. Write, write, and write. You know, by writing, you actually develop a sense of thinking. All right, I can't expound much on that, but that's what he said. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Th this is one of those videos where I actually did some research and I still can't really come up with a solid argument on as to why and as to how I can explain critical thinking. But what I have noticed is that all these past videos have required me to think critically to form an argument based on a certain topic to present to you guys in order to provide value while staying objective and you know staying in the lines of sense common common comical Com common sense all right there was a comical is that the word yeah and so yeah that's why this really puts me on the spot but at the same time it makes me actually practice again you know holding my skills camera presence that's the whole premise of this hashtag project 9 minute video that i started uh that yeah that i did start so yeah, it's fun, and you know this is this is a different format. I, I'm I'm trying new formats here because you know this is technically vlogging, I guess. You know I have a phone. This is a phone, all right. This is a Samsung A50, hooked up with a Rode microphone, which you know that probably probably the hopefully the quality of this audio is good. This is my first time doing this on a roof with mango flowers. So hopefully you guys did find value out of this, and I'm not done yet because I still have. Uh, a couple more minutes left to talk about critical thinking. So yeah, uh, also the decision that I had to come up with, you know, to film this on the roof because I couldn't film elsewhere because, you know, I wanted to provide, you know, because honestly, I'm late. This is this is probably really a late video and, you know, everyone's awake right now. Everyone downstairs are working. Don't want to interrupt them at the same time. You know, my studio is down there. And you know, obviously, I'm on the roof where it's nice and quiet and windy. Hopefully, you guys don't hear the wind. So yeah, that's why I'm up here. And that this that took me some thinking. That took some guts because it's kind of public here. People can actually see me. Not really, but yeah. So that's why this is so cool. So yeah, think critically, guys. Hopefully, you guys. I'm not ending this yet. I'm almost ending this yet. But hopefully, you guys can think critically. Practice your th critical thinking skills because you know, it's really powerful. All right. You can win arguments if you can really critically. Uh, you can win arguments if you can critically think well, and you know no one will want to mess with you with that. You know if you have the mind to you know actually say and express what you want to say. So anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this hashtag nine minute video. All right, this is nine minutes. That's a dog, and see ya.